Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Nichi Joe episode number 5 reaction. Okay, the previous episode um uh the few things happened. First of all, uh we get to see like the teacher, I forgot the teacher's name. Uh uh she tried to make other students uh you know like a little bit more disciplined uh you know for example uh Sasahara he was just walking and eating while there was like this other person who like you know has like a mohawk i think that's what you call that hairstyle mohawk yeah i think so um and then like you know all these different students she tried to like you know like tell them to change their ways and uh yeah it kind of worked out kind of didn't because sasara kind of listened but unfortunately the guy with the mohawk he his hair doesn't grow for <laughs> the sides which was like a like a sort of some sort of trauma to him and uh, that was kind of funny and then uh, like you know nano and uh, hakase both of them find a little snowman and they buy it and uh, to buy that they forgot uh, sakamoto's food <laughs> and uh, mm, oh and mai was a complete uh, what can i say like a complete like, you know, like the things that she did in that episode was crazy first of all she was just doing crazy things at at class and like taking off like a wig and like you know seeing that she's bald and then it turns out that the she was not bald it was a bald cap and she had her original hair under that bald cap all that stuff and um in the end there was that section where my completely just just <laughs> took you go on like a roller coaster of like you know emotions and that was com like you know, very hilarious like in the in the river bank she was just sitting and whatever like you know thing was happening she was at first acting as if it was extremely negative then it was like oh it's a joke and then completely turning the whole conversation around and this was continuing one after the other and uh, it was nice like it was kind of funny to see how yuko was just getting flustered and then suddenly she's realizing that was a joke and then again getting flustered like it was like that cycle so <laughs> that was funny as well so let's see what this episode brings this is episode number five of nichijo let's start so i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here think it whichever is a preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go oh boy <laughs> the way she calls her nano <laughs> uh, so I'm having a nap. <laughs> oh, what? What's that? Wait, is that a prop? <laughs> oh my god, Sakamoto's like, yeah. Wow, another peaceful day. Yes. Wow, that was something. <laughs> the way that started.
Okay, let's <laughs> let's see what <laughs> what the what? Okay, what is that? A sap? Oh, wait. <laughs> All right. The world after death. Okay, who is this? Oh, this guy. What's his name? Oh, this is also. Okay. Okay, what's his name? I forgot. Um. Oh my God, he is here. And also, okay. Wow. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's written. Okay. Ah, huh? the wind stopped. Okay. Hmm. Wait, what? Bob Hope? <laughs> Second, wait. <laughs> okay. Blood type. <laughs> yeah. No. Whoa. Wait, what's that fried? Ah! <laughs> 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 Whoa, what the? <laughs> okay, that was wild. Daruma Otoshi, okay. Alright, let's see. Whoa. Oh my. Damn, the after image. The after image. All right, hundred points. That's more than a hundred points, I think. Ah. Oh, it's it's one. It's that game where you, I guess. <laughs> so you're supposed to, yeah. Like for example, if you win by with the scissor, you can put the <laughs> fingers in the nose or something. Oh, or that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's deep.
<laughs> okay, what's Whoa, what what? <laughs> oh no, she's she's angry. Oh, he she won. Wait, no, what is that? It's <laughs> too <laughs> 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 oh my god okay she won whoa she okay that was quick <laughs> but yeah there's no rules that you cannot save yourself you know you can defend what Okay. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Wow. That's just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> wow okay ah uh, oh my god all right ah <laughs> uh... Is she eating something? Oh no. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, let's see. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, but okay. Oh my gosh, she's messing it up even more. Oh, okay. Oh, kind of looks weird. Don't ask a cat for advice. Please don't do that. <laughs> now it's all gone. All. Oh my god. Oh no. Wait, you can paint what? <laughs> I feel like now she's going to get mad. She's back. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Ate all the snacks. All right. <laughs> That's not how it works. All right, there you go. Your new brother. Oh 
my god, this thing again. The whole Grim Reaper. What is this weird music? Oh. Oh! <laughs> hmm. What do we do now? What? Okay. Table turning. Oh, Kokurisan. What? Why is it translated as table turning? They're going to do Kokurisan here? I don't think this is supposed to be done in the middle of a school. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Ask a question and then... Okay. I'll, I'll talk about this later on like this is this whole thing is kind of interesting I've kind of okay I'll talk about it later it's a bit too excited and just close the door whoa <coughs> Yo! The, okay, I don't think anyone's going to be able to survive from that. <laughs> Small quiz. Ayoy. Wait, that's Yuko. I wasn't able to recognize her. Ah. Oh. Okay. That's a weird compliment. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no oh no she's going to be like what wait who is that <laughs> oh my god I mean that is George. <laughs> She's like, ah, this plebeians. She draws, she... Sh yeah, she, I think sh we saw her before, kind of. Yeah, like, you know, the fan fictions and everything. Kind of. Though, Oh my god. You goes like what the hell? <laughs> you goes like wait, she never asked me like this. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh my god. She, yeah, she's just... Oh, okay. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> oh, she doesn't, she doesn't like people with... What? <laughs> True. You need a certain degree of culture to... <laughs> Ooh. Ah, perfect. All right. Oh my god, she's pissed now. Okay, what's going to come out this time? Oh! No, I, I don't think... Okay, that, that's a bit too far. Yeah. Wait, is that... Is that... The Sasa... <laughs> oh my god, the the Oh okay. Hmm Short Thoughts <laughs> oh, Okay. Why? <laughs> oh, the quiz. She she told that. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I feel like she included those pictures. I feel like she included those pictures in the test. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. And no one's getting no one's All right. <laughs>
All right. Okay, let's see the final part where they kind of I've heard this voice. Koyayam Koyama Koyama Rikia. I've heard this voice actor a lot before. Koyama Rikia. Let me let me check. Um I will be able to okay, you know what? Let's see. Uh Koyama Rikia. Yamato in Naoto Shippuden. There you go. Kokoro Mori in case closed. I was like I was like, where have I heard this voice? It's Mori Kogoro from uh, Detective Conan. Okay, so there you go. Speaking from One Punch Man. All right, I, I, yeah. Uh. All right, so what else? You know what? Is there any other? Uh, let me see. It from someone from very recent, from 2021. Uh, let's see. Uh... There's a few I can see, Mushoku Tensei, Perugius Dola, I don't remember who the hell that was, I forgot. Uh, Vivi Antonio, okay. A slime Dragrill. Uh, Black Rover Dante, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, these are the, the, the newer, uh, you know, the newer ones. The newer animes. Okay, so yeah, but but the main the main person uh, like you know the the most popular one at least for me it would be Mori Kogoro because I I watch Detective Conan so yeah Mori Kogoro I I can hear it now and and Yamato as well from Naruto so okay um <clears throat> yeah so that was episode number five all right so we begin with um <laughs> Professor putting on you know cat ears and cat tail and it's like, and I know, Hakasenya, <laughs> kind of doing that thing, <laughs> doing the same thing to Sakamoto as well. Sakamoto at first Sakamoto was surprised. Sakamoto's like, what the hell? And then he, he was like, all right, yeah, whatever. Just goes to sleep. While uh, the prof uh, Nano is like, Professor, that's Moi. <laughs> and the professor was so happy. You know what? I I feel like the the, the way Sakamoto reacted here. It's something that I've seen cats react that this like this as well. You know when uh, there's like a cat and you you know go towards the cat and kind of meow at the cat. You know the cat look at you in a very weird way, and they're like, "What the hell is happening?" And then you meow again. <laughs> Sometimes a few cat gets freaked out and kind of runs away or something. And I've seen this happen like and or if you like play like a another cat meowing at your cat, you know your cat gets very confused and. <laughs> I feel like Sakamoto also reacted like that. She said Nyan at first, like, you know, uh, Hakasei Nyan. But he was a little bit curious and then he was like, alright, whatever. He goes to sleep again. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, that was the first uh, section. Then um, we start with this guy. Okay, what is his name? You know what? Let me open the character uh, sheet of Nichijo. Where is it? Uh, what's his name? Uh, okay, I cannot find this guy. Where is he? I think it was something like Nakanojo. Yeah, there you go. Nakanojo. So, Nakanojo. <clears throat> he goes to Osorezan. Now, Osorezan, uh, as far as I remember, is like, a, it's like a mountain where there's like this lot of graves and they say like you know, souls rest or something you know what let me check osore san osore uh mount or mount osore uh japan's uh, one of Jap japan's three most sacred places uh okay <laughs> yeah something like that like it's it's like a like a place where spirits are like you know spirits you know kind of move around and spirits are there so he goes to that mountain and he's like can i find a medium or an itako as he said uh like medium by medium he means i guess like you know the spirits kind of go into the medium and they talk 
you know like the medium talks on behalf they're like an you could say an interpreter <laughs> for spirits something like that so he's like can i find one and i think like i i've seen this before as well i think there's like a relationship you know those uh <clears throat> those fans what do you call them pinwheel i think that's what you call them those those little fan things that were yeah pinwheel those pinwheels that were moving i think there's like a relationship of a pinwheel with these type of things i don't know why but i've seen stuff like this before as well in anime they kind of put out a pinwheel whenever these type of spirits uh like kind of like it's, it's whenever there's something related to spirits okay you know what 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 is the relationship what is the significance of pinwheels in japanese culture uh it represents a cycle of life oh okay becoming a child again oh interesting okay okay if you spot a pinwheel this stands for the circle of life when a person is in their 80s and how they become like a child again oh okay okay so <clears throat> that's the significance of them all right like i've seen this before as well i remember a lot of animes wherever there's like something spirit related or something like that they kind of show pinwheel and i was always curious and here you go so that's what it means and uh, okay now he is like in Osorazan and there's like pinwheels everywhere he's just moving up and he's like let me see if i can find a medium and uh, there you go he finds someone just sitting there <laughs> a lady an old lady and he's like all right can you help me out and he says that i want you to bring someone's spirit here okay take k or he says bob hope i'm guessing that's like a they translated that to that take k I, I have no idea who take is but i'm probably i'm guessing it's probably someone I, this this whole thing probably made me not understand the joke because he says like you know they can bring seke here since i don't know who that person is you know um i guess the joke after that kind of flew over my head because the old lady starts making weird noises and then he she then she's like okay what does she say this is bob hope bob hope or seke seke that's this and then he asks what is your blood type <laughs> who knows so okay as i said this part flew over my head because i did not know who this person was bob who is bob no what let me check British American comedian, actor, singer, dancer. So who is Seke? I think that's what they. Okay, you know what? I probably won't be able to find. So if you guys know who he was referring to, let me know. But yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so this part flew over my head, but then he says like, "All right, bring Oda Nobunaga here." <laughs> and i'm like okay i am familiar with nobunaga i would be able to understand what happens after this but the old lady was the old lady was like yeah give me a break i can't <laughs> and the way he acts he's like ah oh. over dramatic what was that that's so funny the way he he did that <laughs> Okay, so he's like, all right, you know what? She's probably old, and uh, I shouldn't do anything. And like, you know, maybe it's like a health issue. I shouldn't, like, you know, go hard on her. He opens his eyes, and then he sees like this McDonald's fries, a tamagotchi, some video games, and like a Starbucks, whatever. No, not video. What is that? It's iPod or iPad? No, iPod. I think that's an iPod, isn't it? So iPod, Tamagotchi, uh, uh, French fries, and a Starbucks coffee or whatever. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. <laughs> He's like, you know what? Let me just go up away. Old lady's like, what the hell? Where's my money? Like 5,000 yen. He falls down, gets ready, just runs. The old lady is also running for him. I don't know what happened after that. 
um yeah but i'm pretty sure the old woman caught him and after she caught him i don't know what she did <laughs> all right then we get a little garuma otoshi um you know what i've seen this clip as well now i re remember i realize it i've seen this clip before as well in one of those you know try not to laugh clips where you know he she does it that like you know, kind of strikes the daruma the thing it goes away bounces hits mio's head mio grabs it makes a <laughs> makes a 180 and throws it towards yuko while the dharma is still floating which means all of this happened within this small little part and it was so fast that uh, yuko's um after image was still there even though she he, she got hit <coughs> and yeah and the dharma the thing falls and it's over within the matter of a milli 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 millisecond all this happened some like this is some dragon dragon ball c uh dragon ball z stuff <laughs> like oh you're you were actually chasing after my after image <laughs> you're not chasing me you're chasing my after image i'm so fast <laughs> that type of a thing ah <laughs> all right the next part rock paper scissor with a twist now i've seen this before as well they kind of uh, i've seen this in anime most mostly like what do we usually do in rock paper scissors rock paper scissor you know like rock wins against scissors scissor wins against paper paper wins against rock and that's how like you know we used to play but i've seen in animes they do a little bit like an, of an extra thing where if you win you hit the other person now it's like a like you know like a thing i've seen like i, I think um what was that in um what was the name of that anime um asobi asobase yeah where you know like rock paper scissor they like you know do this you know, it says scissor and it wins against paper if you win you know i think no i think it was it in gintama or some some of the anime some some anime i remember like you know they put the fingers in the other person's nose i think it was gintama or was it asobi asobase i forgot either of it or was it hinamatsuri other of these animes, like you know, these outrageous animes, just like you know, full-on crazy animes. Either of them, somewhere, like you know, I saw saw them, like you know, like just plunged the fingers into the nose. <laughs> and Asobi Asobi, as I remember, like you know, the the other girl kind of slapped the you know, like the boobs of the other girl. That happened. Uh, but no, like you know, like there was another one. I don't remember which it was, but they kind of plunged the fingers into the nose of someone. It was something i don't remember which it was but yeah so this was the extra thing that they do you know like whoever wins kind of hits the other person so that's what yuko and uh, uh mai yeah yuko and mai was doing here now <laughs> mai like i've seen this mai is a person who just goes at her own pace you know she, she just completely goes at her own pace so first of all the first one where um I think Mai wins. Yeah, Mai wins, and she's like, oh, like you know, she's going to hit her, and she just put the, uh, what do you call it, the the book up, and then she sees Mai just doesn't do anything. It's just reading her book. Yuko's like, you're supposed to hit me, and then he, she goes and hits her. It's like not now. When we win, this is supposed to be in the moment. We are creatures of the moment. You know, live in the moment. And then again they do it and uh, yeah and then again like Mai doesn't hit her when she wins yuko wins this time Mai hits her and she's like oh wait you you are actually doing it and while at the same time Mai just goes and like you know brings out the eye like you know the statue of the uh the buddha statue <laughs> yuko thought it was reincarnated She's like, where the hell did you get that from? And you, Mai is like, oh, I carved it. <laughs> She's like, thank God, I, I thought it, it came back, it got reincarnated. <laughs> but yeah, um, now the next time she uses the... <laughs> oh, I think she... Oh yeah, she pisses Mai off, I think. 
I think my uh, Yuko says something like, what the hell are you doing with that? Like, you know, look, why are you paying attention to that? Play the game. And that probably pissed my off a little bit. So the next time she won't, she just whacked her with the statue. <laughs> oh my God. And it's just crazy, like, you know, all these things. And then that's when, uh, you know, she, uh, Yuko wins and she hits Mai and Mai saves her, herself. And Yuko's like, oh, there you go. You, you were able to do it. <laughs> and then she's like, let's do it again. And he just, she just whacks her with this book. The literature, I think the literature, um, high school literature, it was written over there. And one of the name, like, you know, one of the al alphabets or whatever, it comes off. She says, God is dead. Completely random. And, and then in the end, she's like, like, why are you not doing it? You, you did that before. And Mai's like, yeah, you know what? I, I don't want to do this. Just shuts her down completely. And Yuko just falls down and she's like, what, what have I been doing up until now? Like, <laughs> can I see your statue? <laughs> and yeah. All right. That was, that was, that was, that was nice. And uh, the next part, um, we see Hakase is at home alone and she says like why ha is nano's daruma have like one eye now i also wonder why like yeah like i i've not thought about it but why does it have one eye shouldn't it have two eyes or is this like a is this like a thing uh i'm checking the picture of a daruma doll there you go, like all the Dharma dolls that I'm seeing here have like two eyes. So I do wonder why does this one has one eye? I have no idea. But anyways, um, so he's like, why does it have one eye? And she's like, all right, you know what? Let me just make another eye. She, she'll be very happy and she'll praise me. She goes, takes a, a, like, you know, a paintbrush, paints it and it gets completely bad. Then she paints both of the eyes completely. Oh no, sorry, she doesn't paint both the eyes completely. She... Oh no, yeah, yeah, she, she does paint. Oh my God, I'm getting confused now. Yeah, she does paint both the eyes completely and she's like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? She's going to get mad. And she asks Sakamoto for help. Sakamoto, you know, like, all right, make, make it like a little like sunglass goggles thing. <laughs> they do that and they're like laughing. Nano comes back. Oh my god, Sakamoto just runs away. And the professor is like, oh look, like my new, new kid brother. <laughs> it falls down. <laughs> it falls down and she's like, oh, say hello to your little new brother. <laughs> Nano gets mad. And yeah, I don't know if she got her snacks banned or something after that I'm, I'm guessing she probably got it banned you know like she she won't probably she gets to eat snacks for maybe like a one or two days something <laughs> all right then there was that uh that, that section that helvetica standard and this uh it's, it's like a independent story going on there i could see like you know there's like a, an angel uh grim reaper we saw before as well this time we saw the, see the angel and then oh my god the sound effect was weird here you know there's this type of a uh, sound effect that was going on it's like a little <laughs> thing like echoey sound effect but anyways uh that, <laughs> that was completely out of the blue <laughs> the toaster the toast goes up it breaks the ceiling and catches a my mouse i'm like all right <laughs> this doesn't surprise me the next one uh, it's called table turning or kokuri-san now here's the thing um like i'm pretty familiar with kokuri-san i've seen that before as well people do that now all right one thing you know what one thing i'm seeing here there's another dalma doll here which has another again one eye missing like i don't know what's I don't know what's up with the Daruma dolls, but why do they have one eye missing here as well? So, anyways, um, like you know, enough about that. So, Kokuri-san, and oh my God, this was crazy. This 
this whole section. <clears throat> Yuko uh, explains everything to Mai. You know, he she says like, oh, this is how we're going to do. She makes the like you know the table, the chart, and she opens the door. She's like, oh, the spirits can get in, and then she's like, so we're what we're going to do is we are going to put our like you know take like a coin, put it on the shrine. You know, then we're going to put both our hands. We're going to ask questions. We're going to, you know, and, and it's going to answer it for us. The spirits are going to do that. Now, you know what? I was kind of curious about this because I thought, like, how is this possible? Because a lot of people say that it does happen. So I kind of did my own, not research, I would say. I kind of Googled it and I, I, I was like, yeah, how does this happen? And I've seen, like, you know, most of the explanation actually say that this is like an involuntary, um, what do you call it, thing. Like what they actually do is they put both like correct me if i'm wrong they put both their fingers on the on the on the the coin and press it you know and press it so and then after they ask the question i feel like this is like uh like you know it was this is how it was written there they say that obviously that when the question is asked the two people involved in this or maybe multiple people involved in this game they're going to like have like an either answer like you know yes or a no or some other answer for it and that is obviously going to be in their head so for example maybe like let us just take a very simple question for example like this two person a and b the, the question is does b like c you know does b like c and immediately you know b in b's head you know the the question will come and there will be an internal answer that yes or no if she if she likes c then yes if she does not like c no so b will like immediately get in like you know reminded of that in her head and maybe the other people who know about that will also get reminded in their head so involuntarily what's going to happen is you know the the finger is going to kind of move and since they're pressing it on the thing and it's going to involuntarily move while the person who's involved in this wouldn't even realize that it's she's moving the, her hand and she'll be surprised she's like what is happening here and the answer will be true so this is like an involuntary action or like a thing like an unconscious thing like you know whenever like you know these type of questions are asked and like you know this happens more because of the atmosphere as well for example like if you are like in the, in the middle of the night with a little candle you know like all lights are off and uh, you are doing this kokuri san you know that atmosphere also kind of makes it like a spooky feeling and involuntarily is going to push your hand towards yes or no like this is like a human thing i think that's how they answered in like you know in, in scientific ways that's how they like you know answered it in google I, as far as i remember so i'm not completely sure how it works but it it is something like that i guess and it's quite interesting because yeah like even the person who's involuntarily doing this wouldn't realize that that person is doing it and they'll be like oh there are really spirits here so something like that i guess like you know, this is like the scientific answer of that whole thing like but I have no idea what goes on over there. But I've seen a lot of people say that, yeah, it is true. This does work. And scientifically, this is the answer that I got. So I don't know. Like, this is just something that I, I kind of checked out before. So, like, you know, when they brought this thing up here, I was like, yeah, like, this is kind of interesting. And, you know, let me know what you guys think. I, I really have no idea. I think, like, you know, that's what I got from the internet. But anyways, um, so... <laughs> Yuko <laughs> explains this whole thing to Mio and Mio's like ah yeah like okay okay so good and then when she's like all right let's play she's like ah, I don't care no like I don't want to play just and she's just everything just crashes down <laughs> this whole scene reminded me of <laughs> like this <laughs> like some brutal thing like she explained everything answered all the questions and she was so excited and my not my sorry Mio was also kind of you know like was like oh yeah is that so really oh that's cool like answering like this and then when the question came like oh do you want to play she's like no I don't want to like my god that's ah yeah <laughs> I don't know what to say but that was crazy all right the next part is the drawing pictures part where 
um, the teacher, you know, Yugo goes to the teacher and she's like, oh, what, what are these small little pictures that you do? She's like, oh, I just make them, you know, I think that it's kind of nice to add them to the quiz. Yugo's like, okay, let me draw them. And she draws a picture and Mio, uh, Mio sees that. And uh, when, as soon as he, she says, like, oh, I'm going to draw like a handsome boy over here. Mio just stops, comes back slowly. And obviously, because she herself is like, she draws dojins and stuff, you know, those um, BL stuff. So we've seen that before as well. So handsome boys, obviously, that's going to catch her ear. She just comes back. She's like, all right, let me see how she's drawing them. <laughs> and she draws a random guy with a pompadour, I think. What was that? No, not a pompadour, like... Or was it a pom? Ah, it is a pompadour. It's like you know the front view. <laughs> the teacher's like, "Oh, this is so cool, isn't it? This is so nice." And Mio's like, "What the hell? These plebeians? Like, they, what do they know about you know, like drawing handsome boys?" <laughs> Let me show them. He he draws a really good one. And the first one, the teacher was like, "Oh, this is good as well." And uh, she, like you know, she was kind of uh, gassing up uh, Mio and. Yuko got mad. Yuko's like, what the hell? Yuko's like, all right, let me do something. And uh, she draws the next drawing where it was written, uh, she kind of copied Mio. And Mio then draws a spectacled person, you know, a spectacled handsome guy. And uh, he, she's like, look at this. this isn't it good? That was her name. The teacher and <laughs> Yuko, they're like, huh, why is he wearing spectacles? Couldn't he get a contact lens? <laughs> and Mio was outraged. Like, and then he, she was like, what the hell are these guys saying? Like, you know, they don't have an ounce of culture in them. You know, like spectacles are like, superior. Glasses are superior. Like, this is like uh, a universally uh, accepted truth. These people have no, like, you know, like no clue what they're saying. And she gets offended at that. <laughs> now I can see why he likes she, she like you know like her since she likes Sasahara as well. I can see why she likes spectacle people. You know like because like you know Sasahara also has glasses and the characters that she was drawing kind of look like Sasahara in a way. All right, then Mio uh, Yuko's like all right, you know what? Let me draw. She drew with sunglasses. <laughs> Teacher was like, oh, this is really good. Mio's getting pissed off so much now. She's like, what the hell? Like, I, 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 I'm drawing so amazing, like, you know, like so many amazing characters and these guys are not even paying attention. Then he, she draws another one with glasses. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> Neither do the teacher. And then Yuko draws like the same drawing with a, like a little scooter thing or whatever that was. And uh, yeah, and in the end, Mio was just, Mio was like, you know what, let me bring up my ultimate sketch. And the final sketch was a glasses guy with um, flowers as, <laughs> which are censoring her, his, you know, and uh, there's like a little wine. You know what, I feel like this image is just so much Sasahara. The face especially. This looks so much like Sasahara, especially with the little wine in his hand. And <laughs> and in the end, Mio was like, what the hell am I even doing? Why am I doing this? <laughs> oh no. And then the next day, the, the, in the quiz, I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> the teacher added those pictures. <laughs> and you know what the more weird thing here is? No one's even batting an eyelid and actually answering the questions. <laughs> and that was it. And in the end, Mio was just like completely like, ah, oh, what have I done? Like, you know, my secret is out and this is, this is bad. And that's where it ends. That was, that was funny. Oh my God. And uh, yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to this episode. This is episode number five of Michijo, another another random episode <laughs> and uh, yeah that's what makes it fun 
So thanks for watching. This was my reaction to episode five. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed, and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys next week with another episode of Nishijo. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.